Look, what I want y'all to take from this video is to embrace your own standards. Don't let anyone else's opinion alter your personal standards. Yeah, so let's get to the final video of the night. And um, this is actually um, this is actually a doozy. Um, so um, yeah. I don't even just know how to actually address this, but but I'm just gonna show this picture. Yeah, you see the title correctly. Um. Wow. Wow. Actually, just looking at it right now, um, besides the obvious title, I may actually have to keep this picture as a reference point of actually how to draw it. It's, my artist brain actually works kind of weird sometimes. But actually, this is a great pose, and I may actually have to look at trying to like practice this pose. But anywhere it goes, um, let's, let's listen to the tales from the MGTOW. Oh. <sighs> Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker, and this is not fake news. Tonight we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about. Can you believe we're we're only two thirds of the way through 2020? What's up, Ziggurat? This has been the longest decade. 2020 is the longest decade I've ever lived through in my entire life, and we're only two thirds of the way through it. And the worst thing is we've the like I think the worst third, at least for guys guys and gals here in the, in the United States. And people in Belarus. Like I think, um, I think the worst is yet to come. So tonight we're gonna. <sighs> now this was done. This video was originally done on September the fifth. Was he was he talking about the election? Was he talking about the election? Was he talking about the election? Huh? What was he? Was it... <laughs> fuck. Let's let's go. We're gonna talk about a story that number one. I hope you appreciated my thumbnail. I tried very hard to make that. Um, uh, bottle of Elmer's glue look legit like it was on the couch with her <clears throat> but we're gonna talk about the story because number one it's a crazy story but number two most importantly or more importantly I should say it will show you the lengths that people will go through to get to get away with a lie and what was what was to be accomplished was it money was it uh, winning a trip around the world what did she gain out of this nothing maybe a little bit of revenge I think that was enough because there's certainly no other there's nothing else she could have gotten out of this and the third part so here's the thing and he said all this preamble to actually set up and to actually convince his already believed um gullible audience that women lie women try to get men and like you actually see from the thumbnail of what this actual story would actually be and, and let's let's make sure that we can hear his story and see exactly what is actually being said but this sounds, it sounds fucking disgusting in a sense where, like, if somebody would actually do it, like, use video evidence to, uh, use evidence to, I don't know. Let's, let's hear the story. Uh, let's hear it. Part, and the third takeaway out of this, and we'll talk about it when I read it in the article, is that a man that was, uh, that was supposedly did this and his brother a witness both said he didn't and against a woman's word that he did well her word alone stood up more and only when cctv or closed circuit television proved that she was lying was anything done now can you imagine a situation where somebody does something like this that glues her lip shut she glues herself shut and and without that tv she would have been she would have been toast uh, so let me read the heading here she glued her uh, lips shut as part of a plot to frame ex-boyfriend for kidnap. 
She was sentenced to 10 years in prison. What? Wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I didn't, I wanted to hear a little bit more of what he was going to say. But this whole thing of women are always believed, it, like, Yes, like, for real, like, that's not a fucking thing that there is always a belief that women are being violated or something like that. When we literally have data that most rape or assault cases go unpunished. We literally have that data. We actually see that it doesn't actually, it's not a thing. We see it. But Mr. Anado Andy here says, ah, see, look, women always always believe in when 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 it's bullshit. And the only reason why this didn't they didn't go to jail is because reasons. We have undisputable evidence. Like, no, there are women that have been abused, that have been assaulted, and they don't fucking call the police because they know they're not gonna get justice. But let's hear Mr. Anado Andy here and see what he's gonna say. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Yes, she, she glued her southern lips just shut as part of a plot to frame her ex. Um, a woman in Spain falsely claimed her ex uh, absconded with her in front of her home on October 2016, leading him to spend several days in jail before CCTV footage revealed she had lied about it. Now again, without that, he might have been toast. Vanessa Gesto accused her ex-boyfriend, whom the Daily Wire will not name because he's innocent of the charges, uh, outside of her home and then dumping her uh, partially dressed elsewhere after pouring super glue into her she told police that her ex-boyfriend abducted her in a black car the ex-boyfriend was arrested and spent several days in jail before Gesto's lies were uncovered the Daily Mail reported CCTV camera showed Gesto buying what police called an absconsion kit including kitchen sharp kitchen utensils she used to um, uh, slice herself from a, an Asian run supermarket in Bem. Fiery. And if you notice, yes, I'm dancing around the usual words that YouTube doesn't like. So I, I just like okay, she she pulled a hand that rocks the cradle. Like, like the fuck? Like, here's the thing. Like, here's the fucking thing. Maybe she's just ill. Maybe she has some mental deficiencies. It doesn't translate to every fucking woman. Like, anybody who engages in cutting themselves or sealing themselves up, maybe they have some fucking mental issues. Like, maybe. And, like, I mean, like, I, it's just, <sighs> mm. I, ooh. There's not some rash of women that's going around like, ha-ha, we want a trap or or, or accuse this guy like that that's not a thing though that's not but let's continue an additional footage showed that only the only vehicle that drove past the area where she claimed she was taken was a garbage truck not the car she claimed her ex drove so she went out and bought a kit that made it look like he had very bad plans for her and was going to harm her in the meantime he was nowhere in the area his vehicle wasn't there Thank goodness for CCTV. Or again, this guy might have been toast. But again, you know, we talk about, hey, women will do some crazy things to to blame a guy for something. And they, they still, she, oh my God. So here's the thing. They still have to go to court. And then there would have been investigations. And then there would have been evidence. Now, I don't know the burden of proof in Spain, but if it's like any most modern Western courts, there has to be beyond reasonable doubt. Now, it seems as if, if all of this evidence is coming up, some things in the woman's story weren't exactly, you know, jiving, wasn't exactly fitting together well, that they actually went out for the evidence. Like, I, am, am I the only one that sees this shit? Like, like, I know I used to watch a lot of Law and Order, and like now I just think that that was fucking propaganda because some of the shit in there just like is not totally kosher. But I, you know, I was younger; I was like fifteen, sixteen, and watched a lot of Law and Order. But like, 
how do you not see this shit? That's like uh, to fuck to go back to science shit. The reason why science is actually more um, diligent in trying to pr in trying to be more expl explanatory than like say religions because science always goes to prove itself wrong. Now, to their credit, the police did do some additional investigation after they heard the original claim to try to prove if this incident was right. But Joker is going to take it as aha, all women lie and try to get you locked up because they're pissed off at you. But let's continue. And you know, this believe ever believe all women just, that doesn't make sense. I mean, how many times do we have to go through this? A lot of you guys, some older guys will know this story. Younger guys may not, but just do um, Duke lacrosse scandal. And it was a team of, I think, five uh, Duke lacrosse players at Duke University who were blamed for doing something to a woman. One of them had a, and, and supposedly it happened at this time of night, one of them had a receipt from an ATM on the far side of town. So he could not have been there physically. Like they had the, the TV camera from the bank when people use the ATM. Okay, okay, Mr. Anando Andy, but what about the mountains of evidence and the mountains of cases where a lot of these crimes go unsolved. But you think that's okay? Because you can actually pick one or two cases where somebody wasn't exactly truthful. Can they get video of it? They had video of him, they had receipt of it, and they still charged him. I mean, there's a point where you, you say, you know, if I cannot... Like, if any defense I put forward is just not going to believe, be believed, even with hard science, and a person's word, more specifically a woman's word, is going to hold up over that, there is only one 100% safe bet. Okay. Like, even as an example, like, the Duke lacrosse team, they didn't go to court. The, the charges were dropped before they even went to court because it was an investigation done. Like... What part of that isn't he getting? But let's continue. Avoiding women. Now, of course, this is why you also, you know, red flag and, and check them for red flags when you're dating and things like that. But there's a per certain point in time where you can realize, like, man, the deck is stacked so heavily against guys. They continue on. The Mail reported that on Thursday, Gesto was con uh, convicted in the Spanish city of Lyon on two counts of making false police report. That's it. Two counts of making a false police report. That is nothing. Uh, they, they need to come up with some sort of laws that are going to um, have a harsher penalty to people that are lying about this stuff. Wait, 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 what? Didn't he just say that she was sentenced to 10 years in prison? Okay, okay, let's, let's look. Um, woman. Not to a train. Oh, Daily Mail just popped up. Let's the sun. People. The mirror. Oh, wow. Let's let's go to the Sun, uh, the Daily Mail first. So, ten years. She got ten years for filing two false police reports. Ten years. Ten years. That's not exactly a light fucking sentence, motherfucker. Ten years in prison. Ten years in pr in prison. 10 years. It's not a slight slap on the wrist. It's not. It was 10 years. What would you supposed to have her do? 20? 30? The death penalty? How is this a slap on the wrist? But let's continue.
Really? There it goes. I need to get a new processor. Because if he went away, man, I mean, that could have been an exceptionally, exceptionally long time. And, and again, without proof, you, the he said, she said stuff doesn't work. There's so many cases where this is being proven to be false. Uh, at false. Anyway, uh, they say um, she got sentenced 10 years, 10 years, a lengthy sentence for a woman who made up a false claim against a man. Now, here's a key takeaway. Typically, women who falsely accuse guys of crimes, especially crimes of an adult nature, receive little to no punishment, especially in America. That but she did receive punishment. How does he not see this shit? And by the way, let's do unsolved. Not unsolved mysteries. But let's look. Oh, criminal justice system. Let's look at unsolved assault cases. A vast majority of perpetrators will never go to jail. Out of 1,000 sexual assault, 995 perpetrators will walk free. 230 are reported to the police. 46 reports lead to an arrest. Nine cases get referred to prosecutors. Five cases will lead to felony convictions. 4.6 would be incarcerated. That is a stunning amount. Now, let's look at actual property crimes. 619 out of 1,000 are reported to police. 167 are lead to arrest. 37 gets reported to refer to prosecutors. 22 would lead to felony convictions and 20 robber, robbers would be incarcerated. Assault and battery charges of a non-sexual nature. Like, how do you not see this shit? These are literal statistics that we see. But women are just making it up, right? Women are just making it up. Fuck out of here. Let's continue. I should worry you. And if any of you have fathers, brothers, sons, it should worry everybody about this stuff. Because if it continually gets worse, imagine what it's going to be like in another 10 or 20 years. They said prosecutors in the case, according to the mail, requested Gesto be sentenced to 11 years and eight months. In addition to her lengthy sentence, uh, she has to. She was ordered to pay her ex-boyfriend 25,000 euro, or which is about 29,000 US dollars. The outlet further reported that Gesto's original lawyer, Amelia Esteban, cut ties with her former client after it emerged she tried to frame Ivan over the made-up 2016 crime. Now, here's great journalism for you. Here's great journalism. Who's Ivan, do you say? Well, they say up here, um, the Daily Wire will not name uh, the ex-boyfriend because he's innocent. So they're not giving out his name. Down here, the outlet further reported the lawyer cut ties after she found out her client had tried to frame Ivan over the made-up. So we know at least the, the guy's name was Ivan. How was that great journalism? Oh my God, like... That's sloppy. Fuck. Let, let's continue. Great reporting, Daily Wire. I always believed uh, Vanessa, and that's why I defended her. I feel humiliated and deceived. But you're supposed to believe them. Believe all of them, remember? This is the part that really bothered me. The, guest, the brother of Gesto's ex maintained the falsely accused man's innocence, telling police from the minute of the accusations were lodged, his brother was sleeping when the, uh, the, this supposedly uh, occurred. Our mom spent days crying after he was arrested. Gesto was, called, <laughs> Gesto was called the glue liar in Spain. And they wrap it up with this. The idea the woman could send an innocent man to prison for years solely so she could obtain compensation beggar's belief, the judge said. Now, from my understanding, compensation beggar's belief is basically like uh, it's like, well, it's the, it's the, the victim mentality of pay attention to me. Woe is me. Uh, pay, uh, you know, I, I'm, I, it's so horrible. This happened to me. Everybody give me love and acceptance because this happened to me. That. Okay. Um, I'm done for the night guys. I, I, I thank you guys for just like, but like this, this shit doesn't make fucking sense. He is literally spending fucking 
10 minutes of the fucking video complaining that all oh, men are just have it wrong. Oh, men are just subject to be motherfucking accused by women and have their lives wrong, but complains about somebody playing the victim card. This shit is fucking unbelievable. This shit is so fucking crazy. Am I the only one that sees the shit? Like this whole thing about, oh, well, men are just, uh, uh, men are just, uh, are, are, are just victims of the system, victims of, 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 of being accused and then shits on, 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 on this shit. Like, wow. I, I don't, I don't even fucking know. Like. Do these people, do, do these guys that does this rare pill movement actually want men to have relationship with women or do they just want to keep them all to themselves? That's a fucking serious question. Like this whole belief that like women are bad and you shouldn't trust them. Like who are men supposed to fuck? I'm just saying like you don't, you don't, like people like this don't like the gays and they don't want you to fuck women. Like who are the men supposed to fuck? I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like I, I, I tend to believe that like all people are great, but all people are shit. You know, that that's, that's just me. I, I you know, I, I know that sentiment isn't spread a lot, but like human beings are just like very, very fucking interesting creatures and it's to play with the blame on one specific gender uh, gender but one specific um, set of people because you're fearful that you know something may be misinterpreted in the wrong way or somebody may be lying dude like uh, I, I just don't know Hey guys, this is me, Crimson60620, and if you ever want to actually get some great art and help support my channel, help support me, check out my merch page at streamlabs.com forward slash Crimson60620 backslash merch. Here you can actually find um, great pieces of art put on t-shirts, and it'll be updated frequently with a lot of my other art. So... Thank you for support and please enjoy the video. Thanks.